Well, hi. Welcome back to the channel, folks. Today, I actually have some really cool info for you. Um, sorry that it's been a couple of weeks since we've made any uploads, but there's been actually some pretty big changes going on around here. You see, we had to make the decision and move out of the city of Las Vegas and out into the country where the kids were gonna be happier and we had a little bit more space in order to do what it is that we wanted to do. So, we got ourselves a beautiful little house outside of the city, but this actually led to a question that I have seen multiple times on the internet that you guys have asked yourself. And this is a question that ultimately in the last 20 years, I actually haven't needed to answer myself, so I never really felt comfortable on the topic. But I did the research, I got the information, and tested it just for you, so now I can comfortably answer that question. So of course, that question is, how much can my Jeep actually tow? Now the reason this question came up is because moving can be a huge expense and it can also be a huge pain in the butt. But we didn't want to actually add to the complication of having to hire movers or pay an absolute fortune to rent a big old truck that would kill us on gas that we had to pay per mile way outside the city in order to move our stuff. So now you could always ask a bunch of friends, which of course we did, but the question is, is can I stick a trailer behind this Jeep and actually haul my own stuff? Well, that also leads to how much weight can the Jeep actually pull safely down the road? Can I get up to highway speeds pulling that weight? Can I safely stop that extra weight? So this video, I am going to answer those questions, so stick around because you might be surprised what the actual answers are. All right, folks, so as a quick disclaimer, let me just say, I am actually gonna cover the appropriate information to safely tow a trailer with your Jeep Wrangler or your Jeep branded product. Um, there are always exceptions to the rules. There are always people that are trying to stretch uh, the ratings and the numbers and so on and so forth. And we're not gonna cover that. In addition, there is a unbelievable amount of details and little information that is needed before you decide to hook up a trailer, but we're not gonna get that deep, okay? We are simply gonna cover the basics for towing a trailer with your Jeep and hopefully that helps you to make an educated decision as to whether or not you should do it with yours. All right, so let's talk about towing. What are you trying to tow? You're trying to put a boat behind the Jeep, a camper trailer, a U-Haul in our particular case, that's what we did, uh, maybe a pair of ATVs, doesn't really matter. The information is gonna be the same. Okay, one, you need to determine how much weight is on that trailer, including the weight of the trailer itself, and combine compare that to how much weight can your Jeep tow. So, here's the specs. The tow rating on any vehicle, not just for the Jeep branded products, is based on two factors. Factor number one, the engine and the chassis. How much weight can they actually pull safely? The second factor, which believe it or not, is actually far more important than the first factor, is the brakes. How much weight can that vehicle stop safely? Now, a lot of people don't consider the factors of stopping or turning. They just look at, well, I've got a V6 or I've got a V8, I can pull. Well, yeah, that's probably true. You know what, with just about any gear ratio combination and, and the right setup through your transmission, pretty much any motor can pull anything. There's some semi-tractor trailers on the road that have little six cylinders in them. And then there are some big old uh, residential trucks that are pulling with big V8s. Okay, so it really doesn't matter as much about the power plant. The brakes are actually the most important part because no matter how much weight you try to pull or how fast you try to pull it, can you stop? 
That's the important part. So, how much can it pull? How much can it stop? And how much can the chassis support? So, here's how Chrysler broke it down and came up with the specs for your Jeep. The two-door Wrangler, shorter wheelbase, Pentastar 3.6, cute little vehicle. Chrysler gave it a towing rating of only about 2,000 pounds. Now, 2,000 pounds doesn't seem like a whole lot, but that is one ton of extra weight in addition to the cargo or the vehicle itself. The four-door Wrangler, on the other hand, because of the longer wheelbase and the stronger chassis, even though it's got the same motor, they gave it a rating of 3,500 pounds. Now, ultimately, folks, if you want to pull more than that, maybe you should look at a different Jeep product, like the Grand Cherokee, for example, has a pulling uh, capability up to 7,700 pounds, depending upon which model you get. But I'm a Wrangler fan, so let's talk about the Wranglers. 2,000 pounds on a two-door is probably your safest bet. Why? Because if you go to stop that much weight, depending upon the length of that trailer and the versus the length of the wheelbase on your Jeep, you want to make sure to be able to stop in a straight line. On a four-door Wrangler, 3,500 pounds is what they say it can pull. Um, again, based on stopping. Let's be realistic. Can the Pentastar V6 that's under the hood of the Jeep Wrangler pull more weight than that? Well, they put the same V6 under the hood of the Dodge Ram 1500, and that one's got a 10,000 pound towing capacity. So yes, it's capable of pulling more weight, but again, it's what can it stop, corner, or turn safely. It's all about control, folks. How can you control the load that is behind you? Now, we chose to tow with our four-door Wrangler. We put a 6x12 U-Haul trailer behind it and loaded it up front to back with everything that we could fit in a single trip. I think, personally, we were probably over 3,500 pounds. Might have been pushing it a little bit, but the Jeep held its own. So the question is, is with that much weight behind the Jeep, can you still maintain highway speeds? Well, check it out. In this particular clip, I am actually doing about 75 miles an hour, and it was comfortable. So ultimately, folks, yes, it is fully capable of towing. All right, folks, so that's the basics. 3,500 pounds in a four-door, 2,000 pounds in a two-door, up to 7,700 pounds in the product line altogether. It all depends upon the model. But there's another factor that I want you to consider that I had to consider also myself, and that's something that nobody ever thinks about. Modifications. Now, when you modify a Jeep, which is by far the most customizable vehicle in the world, you change everything from factory specs. Now, I was thinking about the simplest way to explain this. Look at it this way, okay? The tow rating that is on your vehicle is a mathematical equation based on subtracting the actual weight of the vehicle, its anticipated cargo, um, occupants, full tank of gas, those kind of things, from what they feel it can safely stop and pull going down the road. So if the factory stock curb weight of a four-door Jeep Wrangler is about 5,000 pounds, then ultimately what Jeep is saying is 8,500 pounds is the most amount of weight that those brakes can stop or that that vehicle can safely pull down the road. 8,500 minus the 5,000 pounds that the Jeep weighs itself gives you a 3,500 pound towing capacity. All right, so now you ready for the complicated stuff? You add... 37 inch tires, a larger suspension system, bigger bumper, winch, uh, in my case, a cargo rack on the roof, um, racks in the back, additional armor, so on and so forth. Every one of those items that you put on the Jeep has a weight and it's adding to the weight of that vehicle. So ultimately, if you take a Wrangler that's got a curb weight of 5,000 pounds and you add let's say 800 to 1,000 pounds of additional weight in accessories, technically you need to subtract that weight 
from your towing capacity. So a modified lifted Wrangler with your basic upgrades drops you down to about 2,500 pounds that it could pull. That's based on Chrysler's rating on a safety issue when it comes to trying to stop the amount of weight and pull the amount of weight going down the road. But Josh, I upgraded my shocks. They're so much better. The tires have much better grip to the road and I changed my gear ratio. So instead of running 373s, I'm actually running 513s. I think that means that I should be able to pull a whole lot more weight. Okay. Well, you did modify it to be able to maybe be a little bit stronger, a little bit more stout and a little bit more stable. But again, let's be realistic. You changed the gears, you changed the tires, you changed the suspension, but did you upgrade your brakes? Did you increase the size of your rotors? Did you increase the pressure going down to your calipers? Did you make it so that it actually can stop more weight, not just handle more weight see again this could get really detailed really fast and i didn't really want to get that deep into it so let me just leave you with this take the average towing capacity do your research if your vehicle says it can pull three thousand pounds yeah you could probably get away with pulling a little bit more if it says you can only pull one thousand pounds eh, i'd probably be a little bit leery about trying to pull a little bit more it's not the pulling power. It's the stopping power. You need to know what you're comfortable with. So that being said, when you're towing with a Jeep Wrangler, it's actually going to behave a lot different than it does without a trailer. It's going to struggle a little bit to take off. You're going to need to give yourself a lot more time to stop in front of the uh, behind the guy that's in front of you. You also want to make sure that the corners that you take are slower, more controlled, and depending on the length of the trailer, a little bit wider than what you're normally used to. Towing a trailer is more than just, oh, my vehicle is capable of it. Towing a trailer also is going to be based on the comfort level of the person who's actually doing it. How much experience do you have towing a trailer? But that brings us to the conclusion here, folks. I really hope that the information helps you to make a decision when it comes to towing with your Jeep Wrangler. Is it safe? Can the vehicle stop it? Can it safely pull it? Um, these are factors that you really have to consider. I don't want to see anybody get hurt. I don't want to see anybody break their vehicle for no reason whatsoever um, or push it to a limit where it becomes a dangerous or unsafe situation. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope that answers some questions. Like I said, I didn't want to get overly deep into this subject and I didn't really want to um, open up a can of worms. I just wanted to explain more or less what my experience was, what I've learned over the last couple of weeks and what I was able to accomplish myself. So in the meantime, enjoy your Jeep. Get out. It's beautiful country out here. All right. Safe driving, happy Jeeping, and we... We'll see you next time. Hey, so real quick, have you checked out the other videos that we have? I mean, we've got over 40 videos uploaded on this channel. The one I'm probably the most proud of is this one. Check this out. This was an adventure that we did earlier this year. Me and a buddy of mine got ourselves into way too much trouble. It was really intense. Check it out.